Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I'm going to share with you the simple steps to remove fences in Photoshop. The first thing we need to do is simply paint over the fence. To do that, let's create a new layer. This is our new layer and let's name it Fence Mask. I'm just randomly naming it. You can name it whatever you want and it is not compulsory to name it. Now, let's zoom into the fence. Now select your layer and take the brush tool from the tool panel. And you can go ahead and select a hard round brush. Now zoom in a little more. All we have to do is zoom into the fence and make the brush a little larger than the fence. To increase or decrease the brush size, we can use the big bracket keys on the keyboard. Now, to paint over the fence, just click on one end, hold shift, and click on the another end. By doing this, it will create a straight line from one end to another end. Then again, press shift, and click over here. And to move it, you can leave the shift, press spacebar, and drag it. Again, press shift, and start doing it again. Continue this process until you have covered all the fence. Once you have completed the first diagonal, move on to the second diagonal and repeat the same process. Click, press shift and click on the another end. A few moments later. Once you have completed the first diagonal, move on to the second diagonal and do the same thing. One eternity later. And there you have it. All the fence is painted. Now that the frame is painted, we can easily move on to the next step, which is simply content our fill. So make sure that your background layer is selected. And then you can turn off your fence mask. All right. Now hold control and click on the thumbnail of the fence mask. All of the fences are now selected. Now we are going to be using content aware fill feature. For that we have to go to edit and choose content aware fill. Now I'm going to leave it at default values. Have a look, the fence is already gone. For this image we are going to leave color adaptation to default. We don't want any rotation adaptation, no scaling, no mirroring. So we are going to leave it as it is. The one thing that we need to keep in mind here is output 2. Make sure it's not in the current layer. We want it to be non-destructive, so we choose new layer, so that everything that has been replaced will be on a brand new layer. Once you are happy with the results, just hit OK. Now press Ctrl D. So in this layer, if we turn off everything, just the replaced areas are there. So I'm going to turn on the background and there you can see it. The fence is now completely gone. Isn't that accurate? That's all the steps you need to follow to remove a fence from an object. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.